Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thank you for joining us here for a live stream. I just wanted to uh, do some exploring here in San Andreas. I'm still trying to get my own personal Group 6 truck. I'm interested to see what happens when we actually steal a Group 6 truck, take it back to Trevor's garage, or really any character's garage, and that way we could have that truck for whenever we need it. Will it actually let us save it? I've had a lot of reports of people being able to steal Group 6 trucks out of uh, outside of missions and whatnot, so uh, it should be possible. Hopefully we could pull it off here in this live stream. Uh, thanks again, everybody who joined up. I'm RJ. I also have uh, Madison here in the chat. Trip, trip. Watching out. Another thing we're doing is we're currently looking at the special edition map of Grand Theft Auto V to try to figure out the different locations. It's kind of cool how on the map, you know, they have all these different clues. And of course, one of the big clues is Group 6. If you look at the key on the bottom right hand uh, corner there of the special edition map, once you take the black light to it, uh, the very bottom thing it says is Group 6. And it shows a little symbol. Hold on, let me look at it here, guys. Looks like a, like a circle with a line through it. And it basically shows you different locations around the GTA 5 map on hopefully where you can find a Group 6 truck. One of the biggest things about Group 6 is it's an easy way to get extra money. You can hijack or just steal the money from the trucks and uh, it's free money in the Grand Theft Auto 5 universe. Definitely something we all will take whenever we can get. I know we checked out this one in a live stream before and I actually don't think we found one over there. Let, let's make a return visit. It was right here um, we've done this on a live stream before, and we actually did find the Group 6 trucks. Unfortunately, it didn't allow us to, uh, to actually take over the truck. For some reason, the tour was locked. Bit of a pain in the ass. They're not making it easy on us, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and find a car. Let's make landfall here. Coming in for a landing. Alright, let's take this random SUV, shall we? right here at the end of this marker. It will lead us to one of the locations on the special edition map that is signified by a group six symbol, which is, uh, it's basically a circle with a line through the middle of it. It looks like a zero or, or something like that. It's a little bit odd that it would represent group six. You think they would just use a six. Here we are at split sides west. Looks like there is a Group 6 symbol. It's a nice car you got. In this location. Let's see if maybe we can figure out exactly where they are pointing us towards. Maybe you could bring up the uh, map here, Madison. It's this one right here. Mm -hmm. You see right there. Let's see. Where's the app? So we're trying to correlate it exactly to the map. It's this one right here. It's pretty tiny, but we can at least see it. Looks like it, it's, it looks like it's about right here on the map and I've looked at this location before and haven't found anything uh, directly you know, that I, anything that I can directly link to group six hopefully it's a little bit so different this time around Dragon Slayer says that the zero through the line mm -hmm. represents the UFO and on the top of Chiliad on the top of the Chiliad mural. interesting I that like mean? that theory oh, man it's so weird how the group six thing seems to point you back here I've looked back here once before and really haven't seen anything I mean why why is the group six logo here there is some uh, some signs about cameras and we all know group six certainly controls many of the cameras in the game it's like there's a convenient walkway up here Check it out oh, up here. Not so convenient. For <laughs> face plants. What do we have up here? Fame or shame? Nice. Interesting. Is that? Is that a little bit of a uh, potential Illuminati reference there? Maybe. You never know. All right. So the symbol seems to be right around this area. I'm hoping that maybe a Group Six truck will drop drive by because the one group six truck that I did find that 
was linked up to the symbol on the special edition map. It was just driving around, you know, it wasn't a, an event, it wasn't anything that was super obvious. It was just driving around with the rest of the traffic. Nice. Hmm. You might have to move on. I'll do a quick little perimeter scan of this area to see if I can find any Group 6 trucks or any Group 6 activity. But as of right now, I uh, haven't found anything happening at this specific location. Perhaps there is a chance that the map is just pointing us towards uh, chances to see the Group 6 truck. You have to come during a certain time of day or something like that. Maybe it is the wrong time of day. So Magikarp is here with us. Oh, nice. Shout yeah. out to Magikarp. He's, Good to see you. He's asking when our last live stream was. I would say it was probably a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Been a couple weeks since we've done the last live stream. Been pretty busy here at Trippy HQ, that's for sure. Hopefully, you guys are doing pretty good out there. I'm sure all of you guys know Group Six is kind of like the real world version of Brinks. It's it's these uh, big security cars. They carry a lot of money, and it's a private security company. So they also handle cameras, I guess, for some of the biggest locations here in the game. Do you play on PS4? No, we don't have a PS4 yet. We look to get one very soon. Definitely really want one. But uh, right now, no, we only have the Xbox One. Still have the old Xbox 360, the Wii U, Wii, original Xbox, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, but not PS4. All right. Let's go ahead and park, get a truck, and hopefully we can find a Group 6 vehicle. Ooh, looks like we have a uh, construction site over here. What's going on? I've never noticed this place before. What is that? Who are you? Are you a construction man? Huh. Whatever. Ooh, here we go. Decent car right here. Uh oh, the cop just drove by. Whoa, we crashed into the buzzard? Damn it, and it gave us a freaking star. I hate that. How did it even notice us? Okay, once again. Ooh, I think I'll take this bike. Thank you very much. Oh, really? Flicking me off, are you? Taste the dirt. Get him. The cement, you bastard. Out of here. Love bikes in Grand Theft Auto, my favorite vehicle ever. Yes. So much fun to... But everybody needs to know, look out for bikes when you are driving a four-wheel vehicle. Absolutely. That is your disclaimer for the evening, folks. Alright. Oh, oh, oh apparently a two-wheel vehicle as well. <laughs> Oops, sorry, buddy. Whoops. Just need a little hiding spot action. Let's go back here. There it's goes the chopper. Very, not very discreet, but okay. Codenex says this is the best bike. Is it? What's your opinion, Trippy RJ? Ooh, the Shih Tzu Hakachow? Hakachow! That seems pretty good. Yeah, I like it. It looks pretty dope, actually. It's got some, like, Japanese symbols on here and whatnot. Yeah, it kind of looks like the boss. Damn you cops. Would you stop fucking with me already? Alright, guys. Apparently that hiding spot was not good enough. Let's move on. You know what I love is that we have people from across the entire world that are joining us, like England. This is just amazing. Ooh, we have a blue light. Could it be? Yes, guys. Here is the Group 6 truck. Okay, let's, um, we can't even quick save it. So interesting. Once this happens, we only have one shot. Now, the, the trick to this is going to be how are we going to get this bastard to stop the truck so we can actually steal it. Like, we need the door to be open. We don't want it to actually be locked. I'm tempted to... You can't just stop your car in front of him so that he has to stop. I guarantee you if that happens, they're just going to start driving away. Or they're going to... He's just not going to get out of his truck. He knows better. It's like a real-life Brinks driver. Oh, oh, he's getting away. Go. I'm surprised he's not, he's not uh, suspicious of us yet. <laughs> Yeah, you look pretty suspicious. You're just we have a group place. six outfit on, man. You'd think he would help a brother out. Holt. 
We are a fellow Group 6 employee. Shoot the guy in the face through the front window? That seems pretty intense. You think it would work? We're going to try it. I do know that in real life, I think the <laughs> Brinks trucks are... I think they're bulletproof. Let's see, which way is he going to go from here? Uh, I would think to the oh. left. Oh! Yep, there he goes. There's a dead end here. Maybe he is actually making a real life stop here. Like, he's actually got a delivery. Interesting route you've chosen to go here. And maybe because the special edition map is leading us towards this specific Group 6 truck, maybe it is making a special delivery. Maybe we have to follow it. Kevin says that he's not going to stop. He's just going to keep going. Damn it, Kevin. Thanks for the heads up. But <laughs> I believe you're probably right. Oh, anybody who's been a longtime fan of the channel knows that. I'm more about sticky bombs than anybody. Uh -huh. All right, guys. I think uh, Kevin's... Uh, thought that it would not stop is right on the money, so we need to go into hyper mode here with Trevor. Oh fuck, they see what we're up to. Halt! Damn it. Stop it. Okay, let's try to go in front. Oh my gosh, yeah. that didn't work. Wow, he's relentless. And you can see there's a red blip on it now. Good thing we have the motorcycle. It might give us an opportunity to keep up with the bastards. You think we could pop the tires? I guess we could try that. It wouldn't hurt. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, the cops are on the side of Group 6. How convenient. Whoa, they've crashed. That truck not going anywhere, struggling. Group 6. Yes! Yeah, go! Go, 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 go. Yes. We're in, guys. It worked. Ah! It worked. Got it. Wow, okay. Yes. Now, here's the problem. We have flat tires, and we need to escape the police as quickly as possible. Here we go. Completely on the run here. Damn, guys. We are very close to having our Group 6 truck to ourselves. Let's do a quick... I'm, I'm kind of afraid to get out of it, because it's... Don't do it. Yeah, just don't. just maneuver around. That you're not gonna get through that way. You gotta go through the underway underneath there. You're right. They're gonna come for us. Yeah. Can we fit through there? I don't know. I don't know. It's Dude. like a McDonald's kind of drive-through thing. Oh. Can, yep. Oh, oh, we made no. the clearance. Go, just go, go. go. It didn't work. Reverse. Shit. But we lost the cops. So, whatever. It worked out anyways. <laughs> we have now lost the cops. I do see a red marker over there, so I'm assuming that is the other Group 6, uh, that, that's the Group 6 employee. You gonna quick save it? Yeah. Quick save it. Quick save it. What? It still won't let us quick save it. Okay. Shoot. Sorry, Special Eric, can't do it. Let's get away from the Group 6 employee, hopefully when we drive around, or maybe we should, you know what? I guess we should exterminate him. Oh, here we go. No, and no, no, no. Don't, oh, we don't I'm have to worry about him. Unfortunately, we're back to two stars. This is what I was worried about. Let's yeah, take a here. left for yeah. sure. A little Pac-Man action here. Okay, blinking action with the stars. It looks like yes, we have lost the cops once again. Can we quick save it? We still cannot oh. quick save it, guys. We now have our Group Six truck. You see, now I'll press B. You see how it's it's kind of weird. It's just Showing the Group 6 truck. Clearly some sort of glitch or something there. Our truck. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. What if we bust open... The back? The back. Maybe then we can save it. Ready? Fire in the hole. Boop! Yeah! Here comes the briefcase. The bam! And That's it? we can now save it. Excellent. Yes. It is inside the back of the truck. That's where the money is. So basically, it wouldn't let me save because I was technically in a mission, which was stealing the money from the Group 6 truck. So as soon as I did that, the mission was completed. That's why when I pressed B, it would show the truck. It all made sense. I had to finish stealing the money from Group 6 in order to successfully save it. Now, we will have our Group 6 truck pretty epic guys now uh, we'll have to finish out this live stream by heading to Fort Zancudo I saw a Wizzle jumped into the live stream really good to see you in here Wizzle appreciate the love 
And uh, basically what we were doing was we were just trying to steal a Group 6 truck so that way we can use it for our future theories. I found a uh, new clue in the Chiliad mystery that definitely is another link to Group 6 and the number 6. So uh, I have a feeling that Group 6 really is linked to the mystery in some way. Hopefully we can pull it off, especially now that we have our very own Group 6 truck. Let's take the uh, countryside, shall we? A little first-person action. Off-roading. Interesting uh, odometer, speedometer that this truck has. I wonder if there's anything to look for inside the Group 6 truck. Not much. Whoa! Where the hell are we? What the hell? It's an interesting little overwatch area. Damn, I don't know if I've ever found this one before. Some signs on here. What does this say? In memory of Chris Edwards. Interesting. I'm going to do a quick uh, Google search of Chris Edwards. I wonder who that is. GTA players search for jetpack. Find touching memorial instead. There's a bench that says, in memory of Chris Edwards. Nice find. Perhaps the real thing they did in memory of Chris Edwards was link up something to the Chiliad mystery. Knock out that light there. We do have this telescope. Nice view of the eye down there. See the eye. This one's definitely looking right at it. We got a satellite there with some solar panels. Yo, yo, what's up, tripsters? Welcome back. Thank you for joining us at this late hour or early hour, depending on where you are. In the world. In the world, absolutely. And here we go. So, Madison, we finally got our Group 6 truck. It's been something we've been trying to do for a while. We even did it off camera and weren't able to pull it off. And I kind of had a feeling, I was like, you know the uh, recording gods are not going to let us finally get the Group 6 truck until we do a live stream, because that's when we'll hopefully... We could pull it off, and it happens. We now have our personal Group 6 truck. We are heading to Fort Zancudo, and uh, we also have plans to take this thing up to Mount Chiliad, and we're going to use it to try to solve the Chiliad mystery with some of the theories we have in mind. Definitely watch out for that, guys. We have some pretty cool content coming to the channel that I think you guys will really like. Well, watch out. Hopefully we can pull oh. something off, man. I, it's funny how we still discover new things. New things are always found. You know, you have so many people that have given up on the Chiliad mystery, but those who are actually paying attention know that there's still a ton to be discovered and still a lot to talk about. That's for sure. I can't tell you how much stuff I have to talk about when it comes to the mystery, guys. It's, it's funny how many things I find and forget about and have to remember all over again. Here we go. Group 6. We do have the barracks over here. I haven't really looked in the barracks too often. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on. Oh, except for some angry soldiers. Damn you. Oh, here comes a jeep. Get out of here. And a random van. Oh, fucker. And a tank. Go, 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 go. <laughs> There's a tank. I'm sure we we're about to be blown up. Whoa! Barely missed. They can't see us. We're hiding behind the boxes. So this hangar is open in GTA Online. I'm not sure why they will not open it for us in single player. I've heard there's even an animation of the door opening. I've yet to see it. But, man, still makes me wonder what they're waiting for. The chemical facility! Interesting. It's funny how, like, usually I come in here and a lot of these vehicles, like the fire trucks and stuff, don't spawn. 
and I always thought that was odd, but this time around I've come in here with the Group 6 truck, really haven't had too much issue driving around, and a lot of these vehicles have spawned, which is kind of cool. Got the huge sonar tower over here, and it is time to head to the control tower. So what's up, you gonna get a PS4 soon? Definitely, definitely. And yeah, we made it here pretty darn easily with our Group 6 truck. Let's head to the 6 room. Anybody in here? No? Do a quick little peek at the camera, see if there's any clues. I'm hoping that Group 6 truck is not destroyed by the time we get back. Oh! Damn, they almost took us out. Wow. I was looking real quick because you can even see the 6 room. The camera feeds to the 6 room. Where's camera 6? Interesting. Camera 6 is in the stairwell. Coming for us. Let's get out of here. Yeah. So camera 6 is all the way up top. Let's head to the top. Uh, once again, I'll point out here about the control tower. You have the 6 room, which is watched over by group 6. There are 6 symbols in the room, and there are 6 floors to the control tower. What's up with the number 6? Once again, we have another clue linking that all together, which we will be showing off in the next Chiliad Mystery episode, which will be posted up on Trippy Commentaries very soon for you guys. I think you will definitely enjoy that episode. Trip, trip. Here's a uh, pretty cool sign here, guys. Warning. Cameras operate in this area. But who is operating these cameras? None other than Group 6. And if we're seeing that that camera 6 that I looked at was actually, I believe, this camera right here. This is camera 6. So camera 6, controlled by group 6, and the, uh, the actual camera feed was down there. So it was group 6, the military, I'm not sure what to make of that. Anybody in here? Zancudo is mosquito in Spanish. That is the random fact of the night. <laughs> Definitely. Check out this helicopter who's floating. Thank you, Monarchat, for that. Let's head into the six room. You have the six camera literally right outside of the six room. Has anything else changed here now that we've brought the uh, group six truck? You can see six is all over this place. Definitely not a coincidence in my book. And uh, you do have this missing box, you know, it seems like such an obvious spot. You have this box, which has for some reason been taken out from the rest of them. But I'm not really noticing anything. Alright, well thank you guys so much for joining the uh, Chiliad Mystery Late Night live stream. I'm trying out some uh, interesting things here. Looks like we got some massive explosions in the room. Man, this is definitely pretty cracked out. That's for sure. Whoa! A lot of cracks. Nothing new. Let me know if you guys have any new ideas when it comes to the six room. Got some books here as well. Is there any... Is it say anything on the binder? No. Alright, let's see if the Group 6 truck is still there. You have lots of soldiers waiting to kill us. It is still there! Let's go! Get in, Trevor. Don't blow us up, anybody. Oh, here comes a tank. Go, 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 go. Uh, this looks like a perfectly good fence to drive through. And we'll go out this way. Nice, that's convenient. Everywhere. Once again, thanks again for joining us, guys, for another live stream. We'll bring you another one very soon. I'm RJ for Trippy Madison and all of us here at Trippy Commentaries. Stay tuned, but more importantly than anything, as always, please guys, make sure to stay trippy. Good night, you guys. <laughs>